So if y'all don't know, TMNT are like the kings of collabs. They have some of the most obscure collabs out there. But with all that being said, there's one collab they never got. And that's Marvel, which is honestly insane to think, especially because the fact that one, they both have insane popularity, but two, TMNT started out as a parody of Daredevil, but nope, no collab. But say they were one day to actually catch a collab, what character would they link up with? I thought and thought about this, not just due to popularity, but Spider-Man is without a doubt the best choice. It's almost crazy how well they work together, and the fact that they haven't worked together before is insane to me. First things first, we all know they both live in and protect New York, like with their lives. But both Spider-Man and the Turtles see New York as more than just a place and like a home. They love New York, the culture, everything. I mean, you see it all the time coming from both sides that alone is a great reason for them to lock in but there's more than that i think peter fits their personalities almost to a t and it's kind of scary if i'm being honest let's start with leo peter and leo both understand the leadership and responsibility role more than anyone i mean it's literally spider-man's whole thing with great power comes great responsibility Pete and Leo would have insane understanding for this. Plus, we obviously don't know what version of Spider-Man this would be, but he's trained multiple different Spider-Men, he's been a part and led many teams such as the Avengers, Fantastic Four, and X-Men. He knows everything Leo deals with. Now let's get to Mikey. Mikey should be an easy one, but he's the party dude. Always having fun, cracking jokes out of the worst situations, and I mean, that pretty much sums up Spider-Man. Dang near all his villains despise him because he doesn't take anything serious. And a lot of TMNT villains have the exact same opinion on Mikey. Hey garbage brain, if you fight as bad as you smell, we are in trouble. I told you to shut up! But those two being homies is pretty much a no-brainer for real. Now Donnie, boy, you know dang good and well Pete and Donnie would be so locked. They are both some crazy little nerds, bruh. They would have everything to talk about. People oftentimes downplay Peter's smarts, but he is a genius. Mr. Fantastic, who is arguably the smartest person in Marvel, has went on record saying Peter is one of the smartest people he knows. He is beyond smart. And Donnie also happens to be one of the most talented minds in TMNT. These two could not be more locked in, to be honest with you. And I want to see how Spider-Man would react to all their inventions. Like, Donnie has made phones out of junk and a literal truck van car garbage truck. Like, I need to see Spider-Man's reaction to the things that Donnie has created from literal junk. These two could not get along better with that. It's kind of insane. And finally, we have Raph. Now, I do think he would be the most difficult for Spidey to get along with, but I think they'd still be locked because I think Spider-Man could show Raph how to control some of his anger. We all know the classic Unc Ben story, and we all know how angry Spider-Man was after that. He lost control of himself. Then, if you want to take other serious situations, like I said, we don't know what Spider-Man this is, but because it's Spider-Man, it's safe to assume he's getting done wrong. And he's crashed out in more situations than just Unc Ben, like I don't know, with Gwen, or just anything the Green Goblin does. Fucking menace. But the thing about Pete, he always finds a way to bounce back somehow. He could easily show Raph how. Plus, I think Raph would find Spider-Man's strength and powers very amusing. But it doesn't just end there. They would have a blast with martial arts. As we all know, the turtles are proficient in ninjutsu, but a lot of people don't know, Spider-Man dabbles in martial arts himself. He literally created his own martial art called the way of the spider. Imagine the turtles using the way of the spider. I tweak, I tweak. Spider-Man also runs the fade with the lizard and rhino, which I mean, are practically mutants. I think Kraven would have a ball in the TMNT world too, 
Imagine all the odd mutants he could kill and have on his shelf for whatever his freak ass do, bruh. Like, he'd be tweaking. He'd be having the best time of his life. You know he'd go for some turtleneck, too. I mean, bruh, it, shit practically writes itself. I think it would also probably be very nice for Peter to meet Splinter. We all know what happened to Peter's dad and Unc, so it's safe to assume he could always use someone that plays the role Splinter does in his life. I'm sure Shredder would have fun in Marvel New York too. The foot would probably end up beefing with like Kingpin or some on some type of underground crime group stuff. I mean, the underground scene in New York be going stupid, bro. Imagine the foot versus the hand. I mean, like, do it right now. Imagine they go with the plot where the turtles go into the Marvel Universe too. They could go to the Channel 5 building, but instead the Daily Bugle is there. Or imagine April working at the Daily Bugle. I mean, that's insane. Or even they could go to the TCRI building, but Oscorp is there. You see what I'm saying? It could be so tough. Even Casey could fit in as a street-level hero in Marvel. The possibilities are endless, but overall, I think this is perfect. In my opinion, this is the perfect crossover. The fact that TMNT has collaborated with so many and not Spider-Man, or at the very least Marvel, is insane to me. But let me know, what do you think about this crossover? Do you think it would be lit? Anyways, I appreciate y'all watching. I'ma leave the link to my Discord server in the description. Join up we'd be lit and with all that being said i appreciate y'all i'm gonna catch you in the next one and peace